Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to another Noodle Film Review. Uh, it feels like ages since I've done one, it's crazy. I've been so busy at work I've not got around to doing it, but luckily I've had a, quite a few um, that I've done in a, in a sort of batch when I was off. So you've got quite a few coming up. So anyway, tonight we're going to look at a, um, a slasher horror film. And we're going to be looking at um, Scream 6. Um, which recently was in the cinema, just got released on 4K and Blu-ray this year as well. So I picked up the Blu-ray. <clears throat> I was going to get the 4K version of it, but here it is. The 4K version was £24.99, and this was under £10. So I, I went with the Blu-ray. Um, this is a typical... Um, uh, screen movie in 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 a lot of ways and in a lot of ways it's not um it, it's got the same sort of premise the film sort of starts off with like um there's a girl who the woman who's like a she's a teacher and she's a film teacher she teaches people about film history and she's very interested in slasher movies surprise surprise and she's got students in her class and she's out on this sort of blind date in town um, but the date hasn't arrived and he calls her up seeing trying to find out where she is and uh, he thinks he's got the wrong area and all this so she goes out in the street and starts sort of like looking for him um because they're sort of like talking on the phone sort of like and she, they're both embarrassed and all this sort of thing because he's thinking oh my god this is not the first impression I, I wanted to make anyway and she sort of like says yeah the building's red it's a red building and he goes well I can't see it so she goes outside looking for him and he goes oh I'm, I'm down some some alley um which is is there an alley close to like uh the the, the restaurant she goes yeah yeah so she goes and has a little look she crosses the road, and she's she's very pretty when we're wearing this quite elegant sort of yellow dress, and she she can't see him, and he can't see her, and he starts describing the alley to her, uh, and she starts walking down it, and then he starts saying, "Oh, this oh, is that you?" He says, "Is that you?" Wave. And and she waves, goes, oh, you're not waving, it's not you. And she, he goes, oh, it's someone else. It, it, it's a guy, and he, he, he's following me. He's got a big knife and sort of thing. So it makes it making out that he's been sort of chased by um, this sort of killer. Um, it looks like this is Halloween because there's a lot of people in the street all dressed up in costume. And um, so she, she starts panicking and starts looking down this alley for him. But she can't see him. And she's still trying to talk to him on the phone. And then we get the classic ghost face voice over the phone. And then she sort of gets attacked by a ghost face and killed. Um, so this guy that she's on the blind date was a setup. And this was a setup by some students that are in her class. And they're practicing because uh, they're after a couple of sisters who we're going to meet later in the film. Anyway, so he's he, he he straight away reveals himself by taking off the mask, and he's like some some sort of um Asian lad, and he 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 then starts walking away and acting normal, and then he bumps into Taro, one of the young girl a young girl on the way back to his flat, and this is one of the sisters, and it, it, there's these two sisters that are supposed to be, um daughters of a serial killer um and um her boy the, the older sister um his boyfriend was also a serial killer and all this sort of thing so it's all they've all got this history around the ghost face sort of thing so um and they're supposed to be the daughters of the ghost face i suppose um he goes back to his flat and then he, he starts looking for his front his friend Greg, who he can't find. And then he, his his phone his phone rings and it's Greg on the phone. And Greg's talking to him in the ghost face um, voice. And these two are, are two friends that are that are planning on sort of killing these two girls, um, to have some sort of revenge. I'm not going to tell you what about because I want you to find to find out what happens. 
But anyway, so this um, Greg starts playing this game round the flat with his friend. Now his friend, the one that killed the girl, he, he he's describing how he felt about killing the woman, and he was quite. He said he felt nothing. He said he felt absolutely felt good every time he stabbed her more and more, and she felt like a piece of meat, and he had no regret because she marked his giallo paper really low because he did a paper on giallo films because he was a big Argento film uh, film fan. Anyway, so they start playing this game and um and then Greg says, Well, I'm in the I'm in the flat, you need to find me. So he starts playing this game with him. And eventually he he sort of goes to the fridge and opens the fridge and we see all these body parts in the fridge. Um and then uh, from behind he gets stabbed. Uh the, the killer gets stabbed by his friend Greg and, and he kills him. So it's a really weird beginning, and then we get the titles, the screen titles, and then we get to see that it's actually based in a city, completely different to like um, where the other films are all based, in like a high school, in like a, a small sort of probably sub suburban sort of um, town, but this is in like a, a major city. And then we get to meet the, the older of the sister, uh, and she's sort of like a very pretty girl, um, she reminds me a lot of the girl that was in Terrifier. But she's there and she's very, very, very protective over her young sister, Tyra. And she's out looking for her and she goes back to the flat and they said, well, she's gone to some party. So she goes to this party looking for her sister. Um, and this is this is where we, we sort of um, get to sort of... Um, see them both together but before that sort of happens because we first meet the older sister seeing some sort of doctor like a psychiatrist and she tells him all about her past about her her father and and about her um her boyfriend and things like that and he says i can't deal with this because this is above my sort of category of work anyway so she leaves like i said she goes back to the flat and she and her friend there who's also very pretty, they're all very pretty in this film, um, tells her, yeah, she's gone to this party. So she goes to this party looking for her. And when we cut to the party, we see Tara and some bloke is sort of really trying it on with her. He's, uh, um, they call him Date Rape Ralph or something. <laughs> and she, he's trying it on with her. And, she, and she's sort of being persuaded to go up to his room. And then all the friends start arguing, said, so don't go up there, don't go up there. And the sister turns up and sort of attacks um, uh, date rape Ralph with, with a taser gun. And then the sisters sort of like have a big, big argument. And the big argument, and these young ones said, you've got to let me grow up, you've got to let me grow up, and all this sort of thing. And so this is how this sort of story progresses. And then they're back at the flat. And on the news comes the story of the t of the killings uh, of of the, the 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 teacher that was on the date, and obviously the the, the killer. Um, and it's all over the news. And so um, the older sister starts panicking and thinking, "Oh, it, it, they're after us! It's all about you know after us." And so she sort of like speaks to her friend, whose whose father is in the NYPD. And she speaks to him on the phone. He says, yeah, I need you to come down to the station. Because he's found at the murder scene her driving license. Um, so they need to go down there. So on the way down to there, they get a phone call from the ghost face. And that's all I'm going to tell you. So what's going to happen to this to these two sisters? Are they being pursued by ghost face? Is their history going to catch up with them? You need to watch it and, and, and find out. So I'm a bit high up there, and I just noticed. You need to watch it and find out. Uh, what do I think of Scream 6? I thought it was a brilliant film. Really, really cool. Such a great take on, on the actual franchise. And I'm glad it took it to a different direction. Mostly because one of my favourite uh, characters, Dewey, um, got killed off in number 5. Which I was a bit gutted about. And I knew they was making a number 6. I, and I just thought, how can you do it? But they took it to another direction. Obviously, um, Gal Weathers and that do make an appearance in this film. 
and they come a bit later in the film but i'm not going to tell you anything else happens because i want you to watch it and find out but it is a really cool film and and it's really really well um staged in this city lots of great sort of um sort of pursuit um sort of killer scenes in, in the film in some sort of great sort of like city areas you know subways and all this sort of thing really really cool absolutely loved it amazing film the pluses of this edition although it's a standard um blu-ray you know with a slip case it's a standard blu-ray uh the transfer is fantastic i don't think i need the 4k i'm really happy with the blu-ray transfer it looks amazing um it's quite well acted you know there is some over the top girly moments you know when they're all being emotional and you know like the the young sort of girls today always on their phones and all about looking at themselves and their image and all this sort of thing you do get quite a bit of that but if you see past that it's actually really quite uh well acted in t to a sense um it's a great story it's a great plot I quite like it, and I like that, like I said, that they've broken away from the originals, which um, I think is, is the right direction to go. Um, there's some good gore, some great kills in the film. Really, really cool. Negatives, it's, it is quite long. It's over two hours, um, but I wouldn't say it was a negative because uh, I enjoyed it, and, it, and the time passed really, really quick. Um, yeah, the female character can be a little bit annoying after a while. I think it's the only negative um, of the film. But apart from that, um, it, it's, an, it's, it's an excellent film. So I'm going to score this film a great watch and give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic sort of um, modern scream film. And I love what they're, what they're doing with it. A lot of people are moaning about stuff and that and, and how disappointed they are with it and... I was just thinking, mate, please stop. Horror films will always disappoint you. If you go into a film for an expectation, you're going to be disappointed. They will always disappoint you. So go in with zero expectation apart from having a good time. And then you'll probably come out having a really good time and enjoying a really quite core cool movie. And, and you start liking it, or you know. Just, you know, you, you can't have the same screen that's already been done so it's good that they've moved a different direction but i see quite a few negative reviews about it and people whinging about it I thought, it's just a film you know and if you're a horror fan appreciate it for its horror content um, because it's got a lot of, of horror content in there rather than worrying about oh it's not the greatest horror film ever made it, it's never going to be greatest horror film ever made i think you just have to be content with what you have and enjoy the film for what it is i do and that's why i give these films really high scores because i think they're amazing and that's and and i just find them really entertaining and i can watch them over and over and over scream eight out scream six eight out of ten any of you guys seen it if you have let me know down below what you thought of it um, me and the lad went to see it at the cinema and we really enjoyed it um, we only saw it, it come out in the beginning of the year um, so we weren't in a hurry to, to buy this when it came out on uh, to physical format because we, we ain't long seen it but when it was such a good price we grabbed it so we're really chuffed with it, a really cool film Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, The Man View Film, RS Designs, Pizzlewell, I'm the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, and a massive shout out to my lad Lemon Lord. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.